The Yoruba are one of the most autochthonous ethnic communities in Sub-Saharan Africa. Yes, welcome to Nobu TV Live. As usual, we are talking about an important uh, issue in this country, and that is uh, the traditional institutions. But uh, we are looking at it from the from a different angle now, from maybe what you used to know it to be, because uh, there is presently a tussle between uh, the former president of Nigeria, uh, General Olusegun Obasanjo, or if you like, call him former president Olusegun Obasanjo, and uh, some traditional rulers in the West. Uh, in an occasion where Obasanjo was called to the podium and uh, others were standing up to acknowledge uh, his uh, presence there, and uh, some others were sitting, and Obasanjo was uh, quick to recognize that uh, this would not. Uh, uh, recognize his uh, uh, presence there by standing up like every other Nigerian in that occasion and his voice out immediately. And uh, since that time, there have been controversies, debates as to who, whether the Obas or the Obasanjo should stand up for the Obas or the Obas should be the one standing up for the Obas. Why some Obas have described Obasanjo's action as a sacrilege and an abomination in Yoruba land. Others are saying, well, because he was a president, maybe he was right and all that. But, but want to know your take. But before you voice out your own opinion, let me ask uh, my friend here, uh, Gray Amona. You are welcome to the program. Thank you. Okay. Now, you just heard what I said. Obas were in a program at yes. uh, Daduka Kintola University, mm. just like Obasanjo too, and the governor of uh, Oshun State. Mm. And at a point when Obasanjo was called to make his uh, address or something, mm. the people there stood up for him in recognition of his uh, personality. But uh, some of us did not stand, and Obasanjo was angry. Mm. So now, from your own perspective, I know you, well, I don't know whether to describe you as a historian now or, or, or journalist, but uh, anyhow, what is your opinion about Obasanjo's conduct and the reaction of uh, the Obas? Uh, well, basically, I have a passion for history, mm. but I'm also disciplinary about history okay. because I completed uh, postgraduate studies in economic history. Oh, wow. And uh, I consider myself a genetic historian, historian okay. from the womb. Okay. <laughs> from the womb, too. Um, Colonel Demilio, it is shocking that. Um, General Olusegun Aremu, I think was her only name. Yes. Obasanjo. Kikiola. Kikiola Obasanjo. Yeah. Is, uh, what is his uh, present age? Uh, let us uh, see. He's in his 80s. 80s. Like uh, around, uh, at, not less than 85 uh, now. At 80s, I would not like to think that uh, he's, uh, he's becoming subject to some loss of, uh, you know, rational thinking. Mm. He's not yet mentally senile, mm. you know, to be, to be subject to that kind of... Uh, something like a piece of sacrilege. Mm. The Yoruba are one of the most autochthonous ethnic communities in sub-Saharan Africa. Mm. Apart from supplying, you know, a near superabundance of manpower, intellectual manpower to African land, the Yoruba are tied to the historical process. And one of the fragments of the historical process is tradition and custom, of which Chief Tensi matters, uh, traditional leadership values are implicit in that aspect of uh, analysis. Mm. Now, what could have uh, 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 made uh, members of the audience to so stand up for Basanjo? Military dictator between February 13, 1976 and, I mean, hours on October 1, 1979, about uh, five hours, because he formally handed over to Sheo Shagari at 10 a.m. on October 1, 1979. Mm. So, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five hours. Mm. In other words, between February 13, 1976, he took over in the afternoon, precisely 1.30 p.m. after Mutala Mohammed had been gone down by, by a drunken Dinka, mm. you know, he took over 12.30 a.m., what the broadcaster would call half past 12, mm. half past midday. So, after that, he, he, you know, there was a law. He now returned to the limelight as president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria between May 29, 19, uh, 1999 and May 29, 2007. That is about secular leadership. The Oba, not least the Yoruba Oba. In any case, that word Oba uh, as a generationally transferred to, to contemporary Bini state. Mm. Is also a derivative, a cultural derivative of a you know Yoruba historical tradition. Mm. That's to that's to tell you the genetic relationship between Bini 
Agbo, Shekiri, and Yoruba. Mm. So, the Oba, whether he is just 10 years old, Oba Sunjushu, what Yoruba, there's a verb phrase in Yoruba dialect, Doba, Dobale. Yeah, Dobale. Oba Sunjushu, Dobale, to no matter how young. That is what makes Yoruba consciousness tick. Mm. Because they are a well organized polity. Mm. Originally, Yoruba uh, kingdom was Ode Ondo, Ode Ishekiri, Ilaje, Owu, Ibadan, and Ijebu. Mm. These, these are constituents of the Yoruba consciousness formation. Mm. And they are bound by compliance with authority, of which the institution of Oba is integral, mm. primarily integral. So, where is Oba Sanjo coming from? Military dictatorship or the presidential? Republicanism is aesthetically inferior to traditionalism mm. because republicanism is a derivative of Western, you know, superstructure. The, 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 the notion of democracy is part of the superstructure of Western society, which is foreign to African society. African society, you know, has the unique tonic of disseminating the values of traditionalism of which you know biological seniority is preponderant okay now from what you have said now uh Obasanjo aired in the first place Absolutely. by requesting the others to actually stand up for him so, the, so the reverse supposed to have been the case if any of the others had uh, tried to stand up Obasanjo would have fallen hmm. okay <laughs> <That's the truth>. <laughs> now <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> now <laughs> we are on a crossroad hmm. you know like uh, uh, your own debate your own uh, side of the debate now yes. is that uh, Obasanjo was actually wrong very wrong and he was expecting too much beyond what he was entitled to yeah. as a, as if, a, a former yeah. president now, no, no, now no. if you say expecting too much yeah. you are even uh, uh, flattering him yes. you know flattering his ego yeah. he he probably lost his mind yes. temporarily yes uh -huh. now Obasanjo has not apologized hmm. Uh, the well, maybe the only of people has not spoken. <laughs> the Allah of for young <laughs> have not also uh, spoken. Oh, it's not above Lagos. And the above of Lagos, and perhaps maybe above of Benin, and some of these mm -hmm. class uh, traditional rulers mm -hmm. have not actually uh, spoken. But depending when they are, shall be speaking, mm -hmm. what do you think should be the well? It's likely to be the implication of Obasanjo's uh, uh, superiority stance mm -hmm. if not actually checked immediately. Mm -hmm. Assuming nobody talks now, and Obasanjo is allowed to go. Uh, scot free without anybody challenging if him. Nobody the, says, the yes, if nobody says, yes, if nobody says anything, especially from the traditional circle, that would be sacrilege, number two. Otherwise, that development of Basanjo raising eyebrows that, uh, you know, we better tell your 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 father now, say you need that for me. Mm. That's a sacrilege. Mm. If nobody says anything, if nobody talks. So, what's the implication now if Basanjo is not checked? The implication, if it's not checked, yes, it's not checked. Ah, uh, Milo, we are, we have gone a long way in a cultural somersault. Mm. The Nigerian society is you know, now is culturally somersaulted. Mm. That's the truth. Yeah. So the that means the you know ge you know geometricians, mathematicians, they talk about gradient, mm. G R A D I E N T, yeah, yeah. the gradient. Yeah. Then the gradient of the somersault mm. will widen. Okay. <laughs> and it's a pity yeah. centering around someone yeah. who is supposed to be a beacon yeah. of history. Yeah. About Sonjo. Okay. And uh, there are some persons who are also saying that uh, you know when you uh, act this way, sometimes mm. without even the orb making any pronouncement against you or some. People doing any yeah, traditional things, mm -hmm. maybe that there's uh, something or somehow somebody may su suffer some consequences. Yes. Do you see Obasanjo? Is it possible that Obasanjo can suffer any consequences arising from his uh, attitude towards uh, uh, revered monarchs? No amount, Europe? no amount, no tincture of republican, uh, you know, violence it's like democracy can change the African superstructure. Mm -hmm. It remains powerful. Remember, Bash or Run, when there was any problem with Alafin, we we'll just bring what Kalabash. Mm -hmm. Alafin will do what? Commit suicide. Mm -hmm. That is the, the tenor, mm. the cultural tenor, mm. the psychic power of African traditional society. So, if I expect that, there will be a backlash. Okay. Yes, because I, I, I still believe in the potency of Yoruba culture. Okay. Towards you. Okay, so viewers, wherever you may be, this is where we are drawing the curtain to a close now. Um, as far as uh, Obasanjo's uh, superiority attitude towards uh, the Obas in Yoruba land, you know, are concerned. We are hoping that uh, you, having watched uh, this program and uh, listened to what uh, Gray Amona has to say about it, you will now make your own uh, input. So don't forget to share, press the notification button also for you to be able to get this uh, similar updates you know, whenever we present one to you. 
This is Nobu TV Live, and my name remains Augustine Omilo. Thank you for being there.